morning everyone. It is slightly before noon, so I think we're, we're safe to say good morning. Uh, it's your boy Raven again, and welcome to Full Scale Friday, of course. As always, Full Scale Friday shows you what a, what a private reading looks like. We do it for the entire weekend, and then... If you want one, links are in the description down below. You just go to my link tree. You click on one of two links that are there because uh, at this time, some places just don't have a friggin' wish list. And you send me something. Anything $35 and under gets you two readings and a birthday reading. Anything over that gets you four and a birthday reading. Very simple stuff. You can do it for someone else and make it a gift. I don't need your super chats. I don't need your money. We'll just kind of do a little gift exchange. And it's 100% completely and irrevocably <laughs> voluntary. There is absolutely no obligation at all. If this is what makes you happy and you're happy getting these free ratings, they're doing you just fine. That's great. You're more than welcome to them. Also, if you think these reading, these little free readings will do some good to someone else, then I encourage you to share, I encourage you to like, I encourage you to subscribe. Because I happen to know, and this is fact, provable, that 51.1% .1 of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. That's just on YouTube. I don't know about anywhere else, but I can tell you one thing, the, the counts are a lot lower. Let's take Cloud Hub for example. Six subscribers, <laughs> and my my uh, videos can get anywhere from like uh, 75 to 150 views. At one point, I even got 3,000 or so on one video. And that was a weekend reading, just like this one. So I happen to know that some people just aren't subscribed, but they're still watching. And I say, if you're gonna watch, might as well sub. And if you do those things, know one thing. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Also on this channel, you will see like stuff about tabletop RPGs. In fact, I did, I've did i done two videos in the last uh, couple of days. Two videos each night. And wow, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff coming out. Sometimes I just want to get on and talk about stuff. And sometimes I see something that needs to go out there. So I hope that if you're seeing those, and those are important messages, by the way. Especially about Wizards of the Coast and their new open their new open game license, which will ultimately affect everyone in tabletop gaming, everyone without exception. I hope that you share those out because n not not to make the videos more popular, but to make sure that people at least start to look into it. And those videos, I try to keep them under fifteen to twenty minutes. Anyway. With all of that out of the way, let's start laying down some cards, shall we? Let's see what we need to know for this weekend. I can tell you one thing you need to know. <sighs> there will be a live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11.15 a.m. I will have Jason Vay, who wrote the the uh, tabletop RPG Night Shift veterans of the Supernatural Wars and his partner Timothy Brannon and we will be talking about Night Shift, we will be talking about this new OGL, we will uh, try to tell you, give you some good alternatives and uh, you know what's going to become of the uh, of the game. He also has written for Goodman Games. The, those are the makers behind Dungeon Crawl Classics and um, Mutant Crawl Classics, which are games I do highly recommend you check out. And on top of that, he's he's also written for Troll Lord Games. You remember those guys, those wonderful people who appeared on my podcast last week. And they are the ones behind Castles and Crusades. He wrote the series Amazing Adventures, which is truly amazing. So, I recommend you check those games out. Um, I may have to put some links in the description down below. So, by the way, on a lot of my videos, especially the ones dealing in tabletop gaming, there are tons of links in the description down below where you can get games absolutely for free. And if you have a family, you have children, I would say 
get them into this. Run a game for them and see how they like it. Run several games for them. See how they like it. And then make it a family thing. Because it's, that's one of the things that we promote around here is uh, family. Family is integral to all things. And, a and to me, a family that plays together stays together. You know what I mean? And I put a rune card where the spirit animal card should have gone. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is the kind of absent-mindedness that your old pal Raven can get up to. And I know you have a lot of stuff to do today. I'm going to have a lot to do tonight. And I really want to get this thing in the pipe and out to you as soon as possible. Because I also have some shorts to do. And if you haven't been catching those shorts, and I know many of you have, my shorts are the, um, my short videos, the single card shorts, are among some of the most wildly popular on my channel. Out of, you know, in comparison to many other videos. And by the way, don't, don't hesitate to comment. Now, keep in mind, I am talking just YouTube here. Uh, because I haven't found a, a means of putting short videos, the shorter form videos, on any of the other platforms yet. So hopefully that kind of integration will come. Um, until then, it's just gonna, those kinds of things are just going to be YouTube exclusives for now. I'm still trying to work with OBS. I'm still trying to learn that. And uh, if and when I get that running, we're going to see some uh, major changes to how things run around here. So... Let's get right down to it. What do we need to know for today? Who are we? Who are you? Who am I? What are we being represented by today? And the answer is Sunstone. Now the Sunstone was used by early um, Viking explorers, for lack of a better term. Oh, uh, Scandinavian explorers. Because they, were, they would constantly travel where mists would form. And when you're on the seas, mists do form. You do travel through fog. They'd use a sunstone crystal to find the location of the sun so that they could triangulate their position and know which direction they were headed. That is you today. You need to be that sunstone for others. You need to be that guide. You need to be the one who says, Hey, I've got this. Come with me. Let me show you something. I think you'll like this. Be, the, be that gentle guidance that most people need. Sometimes you do need to be a little harder, but know the, you'll know the difference. You'll know the difference when to go, no, 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 whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 hey, stop, stop what you're doing. And when to go, hey, you know what, let me show you something that'll make things a little quicker for you. It'll cut a whole lot of work out of your, uh, out of your day. And that's something I, I've been trying to do lately to a major corporation, and I don't know that it's really going through, but hey, you know what? Some people are on board, some people are not. But let's see what we're being guided by today. Again with Ragnarok. This is what you need to examine today. What is it that needs to end in your life? Right this second, I bet you could take a look at your at your life and go, you know what? Mm, maybe you got some unhealthy habits. And maybe those need to change. In fact, I do see that a lot of unhealthy habits, they need changing. If it's the way you eat, change the way you eat. And that's actually a lot simpler than most people would believe. Believe it or not, if you've been eating a lot of fast food lately, it might be time to go, you know what? Let's look and see what I can make at home. Let's see what I can make at home that's healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. It does work. It's a great thing to do. It's okay to have fast food every once in a while. It's okay to eat junk food every once in a while. Every once in a while. Guess what? If you have a tabletop RPG session, I'm going to bring that in. It's okay to bring the the huge veggie platter with the dipping, with you know little dips and dressings and whatnot. It's okay to bring that. Especially if you're at my table. If you're at my table and you bring us a huge tray of like, you know, carrots, broccoli, cucumbers, and and a thing of hummus, man, let me tell you, you're going to be one of my best friends there because we are healthy snacking now. And that keeps us around a little longer so that we can game a little more and do a little more with our lives. 
Alright, let's see what the spirit animals like. What are we being guided in nature by today? And the very thing that we are being guided by is co-creating with spirit. We do have a crow. Crows and ravens, they're related. Crows don't really tend to like us very much. They, te they tend to be a little averse to us as a human a human species, and that's speciesist. But in this case, the crow is letting us know that what that thing is that just really lights us up. Remember, you know how I always say, do what lights you up, play what lights you up, and as always, play on, as always, shine on. That is exactly what I'm talking about. What you do that cr that creates, that uh, doesn't destroy, that actually solidifies that creation process, that divine spark in every one of us is going to be super important this weekend because it will light up and light the way for others. Remember that gentle guidance we're talking about. Maybe we need to stop that unhealthy habit of always hating on something. Maybe, just maybe, it's time that we flip that script and said, you know what? I'm going to create something. If I hate everything else, I'm going to create something completely unique to me, and I'm going to see how it does. And I guarantee you, it's going to turn out all right. If nothing else, it'll turn out great for you. And isn't that worth it? Isn't your mental health and sanity worth it? I think so. So let's have a look at your mind. Talking about mental health, let's have a look at the mind and see what's going on here. So we do have a five of wands popping up immediately. Now we're going to be playfully sparring with others. We're already kind of doing it, aren't we? We're finding ourselves having to kind of fight for our position. That's going to come with the territory. It always will. But here's the really strange part. The part that I'm seeing, I'm seeing something that's like making me go, mm, careful. And what I'm seeing that's making me go careful is first, this four of coins. This is kind of letting go. This is where, when it's upright, this is what you're holding on a little too tightly. In this case, I'm looking at a blockage. Um, I do see uh, letting go, definitely. Because when you let go of something that isn't truly serving you, you're actually doing yourself a huge favor. But you're a little but you're a little reckless. You're a little reckless. And let me tell you something. Even in this card, I do see generosity. But here's the thing. Don't be giving up the farm. Remember earlier in the week, Scotty popped up and that compromise that happened. I'm going to tell you something. Beware of the Overton window. And if you don't know what that is, pause this and go look it up. If someone hits you something with something you would never agree to, not in a million years, and then they back it down to something that you normally wouldn't accept, but you're saying, well, now that's kind of acceptable, that's Overton window. And that's exactly what's been going on a lot lately in certain circles. So, while it's okay to let go of some ground occasionally, watch what matters. And then we have this Four of Wands. And when I say watch what matters, it's because when it comes to this Four of Wands, with it being reversed, this does not look like something celebratory. This does not look like, um, it doesn't look like that big wedding. There, In fact, there is no wedding in this Four of Wands today. And in that Four of Wands, with it being reversed, you're looking at a lot of self-doubt, a, a lot of canceled plans. A lot of glue. In fact, one thing, one thing that comes up, a word that comes up with the Four of Wands is Diaspora. And if you've been watching my videos, you know exactly what I mean when I say Diaspora. There has been, it's, it's basically a mass exodus. You're thinking about that too. You're letting go of that. You're fight, you, but at the same time, you want to fight for what you want, right? You want to fight for that thing that matters. Keep that in mind as we go along.
because we have an Emperor in reverse, we have a Page of Cups in reverse, we also have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Right here in the very real tangible world, we have a dissolution of authority. This authority is currently being canceled. This authority is toothless. This authority has no blades. The Emperor has no clothes. And the news we've been getting is anything but good. Anything but. We're feeling that emptiness. We are constantly, you know what, here's the thing, we've been hurt. We've been hurt and it's been, it's been killing us and we've been sitting there looking at things, you and I both. And it doesn't matter whether it's in your day-to-day -day life or in your, in your community life, in your work life, we have been absolutely taken to the cleaners but we're starting to turn things around. However, we're starting to experience a dormancy when we should not experience a dormancy. This has left us creatively bankrupt. I'm already hearing whispers of people going, you know what, I'm tired of this. I even see it in other, in other uh, circles I run in. They're like, I'm tired of this. I'm just going to go with it. That's giving up the farm. Don't do that. Don't give up. Now is not the time to be tired, especially when you have, when you have the opponent on the ropes. It's time to go in. I know you're tired, but if you go in and you knock that opponent out, that bell can ring and the fight can be over and you can be declared the victor. But if you start backing down now, that, that opponent's going to come out of that corner and off those ropes and he's going to kick the shit out of you. Now is not the time for sleep. Spiritually speaking, we got an ace of wands. We have a king of wands in reverse. And we have a queen of swords. Everything in your spirit is telling you that this is a brand new creative opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to get it all right. And that is super important. This is your knockout punch. And it's going to take work. But here we go with the King of Wands in reverse. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the story behind this image. This is the image of the raven as he was before, when he brought fire to the world so that we wouldn't freeze to death. And his wings and all of his, his feathers were scorched black, his beautiful singing voice was marred, and now this is where we're, we're starting that, um, we're looking at our creative, you know, some of us are like, I'm out of ideas, I don't know what else to do. Just keep fighting, just keep going, don't get stuck because you are probably bullshitting yourself and the Queen of Swords is here to tell you cut the crap. Not today. Today, you do not have excuses. You do not have the, the problems in your head are much bigger than they appear. Um, actually, you're, you're making mountains out of molehills. Let me just put it that way. Now, we're going to go to the Enchanted Map Oracle because you can't know where you're going if you don't have a map, right? And that's what the Sunstone is about. It's about finding your direction. So let's find our direction. How do we how do we deal with all this? Follow the leader. Now, here's the thing. Following the leader does not necessarily mean that you find the person who's like, hey, I've got it all figured out. Let's do this instead. It's very important that you vet that leader before you follow them. Because if something seems off, yeah, it probably is. Also, uh, following rather than leading yourself. See, right now you've kind of reached a point where you can go no further in the same manner of what you've been doing things. You hit that brick wall, you're experiencing a deep sense of loss, you don't know where to turn. So the old way of doing things has to be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. So you need new direction. Here's the thing. 
some of us have accepted things the way they are. And we've just surrendered to it. We admit that we have no idea what to do next. But if you wait in that heartfelt moment, there's going to be a stairway appearing. All kinds of synchronicities are going to come into play. They're going to be absolutely life-changing today, tomorrow, Sunday. You will have to take that moment to figure out that perhaps you are the leader you've been looking for this whole time. Independence, ladies and gentlemen. Exercise a little bit of it. Also, we have come together. You remember what I said? The leader, you need to be the leader that uh, others follow. Well, this is, this, is where you, this is where you do it. Coming together. Let me explain this in terms of teams. The leader comes to his teammate and says, Okay, what, what do we need to do to make this happen? Like, ideally, if we were going to make this in an ideal situation, what do we need to do? And they will absolutely work with you to make that happen. Because they see the overall, they look at the bigger picture, and they say, okay, if this person, if these people do their part, these people do their part, these people do their part, and I help each one of them in some way, we can get this done. So it's probably going to be you that has to do it, it has to do all the lion's share of the work, but guess what? The rewards are going to be greater when others are coming into the picture with you. And finally, we do have movement. That forward movement. This is that. This is that. Uh, that Avos moment, where you move forward. If you want to move forward, you have to be that leader. You have to do these things. And right now, you're probably scared. You're probably feeling alone. You're probably feeling a little demoralized. That's okay, but don't dwell in it. Let's just uncover these runes and find out what's going on. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I am not in the vi I am not in the least bit surprised. Uh, Davis Chenault's going to know what I'm talking about when I when I talk about this. Uh, I did a rune reading for him live on the air. He got the, if I'm not mistaken, he got the exact same runes, but he got them in reverse order. So let's talk about them. Starting with Tivaz. Tivaz is all about that sense of justice and fairness. What is just and fair? Do you want to truly include everyone? Let me tell you that. Let me tell you something. If I were to take the door, my front door, off of its hinges, then I would be opening my home to anyone and everyone. Now, by doing that, I have to accept that there are going to be some people who want to come in that I may not exactly like or agree with or want to deal with. By leaving that door on, on its hinges, closing it and locking it, I have actually stated, everyone keep out. <laughs> this is my inner sanctum here. This is where I do things here. This is a private spot for me. But, when it comes to other things, you have to understand, someone else may come into this that you may not want, but to exclude people who don't think like you do, who don't act like you do, who don't dress like you do, who don't look like you do, guess what ladies and gentlemen you may be right in doing so you may you may in fact keep out the very people you don't want in anywhere in your community but you're going to keep people out who may benefit you and that is not a good situation to be in so what you have to do now is you have to understand remember we talked about surrender over here follow the leader and now it's lining up with that what you have to do now is you have to stop overreacting, you have to stop overcorrecting. Come to an understanding. 
also understand that the person who comes into your community and creates something for your community that is that goes against everything you believe in can be allowed to stand and no one ever has to buy it. If you want something to go away, just stop buying the damn thing, right? Now, how do you do that? You focus on your gifts, develop your gifts, your talents. And if you've developed them, develop them further. If you have gifts and talents that you haven't developed, develop those. Because you can choose to ignore your gifts or you can choose to develop them. And in this, this weekend, it is time to develop them. That is the advice of that card. Also, you are much stronger than you think you are. You have had strength, and I'm going to tell you this much right now, you did not come this far to only come this far. So if you really want the advice, it's right here. It's right here. It points to all these cards. If you're going to guide others, you have to be that leader. You have to create. You have to understand that sometimes there will be absolutely shitty people running around doing their thing. And you know what? If you don't think the free market can decide, I want you to have a look at 40,000 plus people who have unsubscribed from D&D Beyond and tell me that did not make a difference. And that is it. That is the entire, that's the entire reading for today. That's everything I got for you. And I thank you so much for coming in. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. I thank you for having your morning cup of coffee or tea or your lunch with me, whatever time of day you view. I want you to understand one thing. My channel is open to everyone, including you. I don't exclude people from these readings. I would do readings for anyone if they wanted, if they, you know, wanted one. If they wanted to do uh, the, the uh, gift exchange idea. Gabo principle, that's what it's all about. I would do it for anyone and everyone. That has to be enough, because it's enough for me. Because as I'm always saying, and I mean these words, I love you all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other and take your power back. I want you to always do what lights you up. And as always, I want you to shine on. So before I completely kick out here, I just wanted to uh, just wanted to let you all know that uh, live stream tomorrow. That will be 11:15 a.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be talking more about like night shift and amazing adventures and. The most recent developments with the OGL and what the plans are. We'll see uh, just where all of it's going. See how it's doing. And uh, also, we'll be taking your comments live. So if you wanted to join in the fun, hop on into the chat. Let's uh, let's talk a little while. Hope to see you there. I will also be doing a couple uh, single card shorts, and I think I'm going to do Tarot and uh, this Enchanted Map Oracle because I do love these cards. These cards are amazing. I sincerely hope in your letting go that you're letting go of everything and remembering what got you here in the first place. Because it's super important. 
when you're looking at your current situation, if you don't like it, you're like, how did I get here? That Queen of Swords is going to be brutally honest with you. She's going to let you know where you screwed up. And you got to be ready, willing, and able to accept it. And I hope you are, because, uh... It would absolutely benefit you. There was no need to come out and start groveling at people's feet and, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're so, oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, we're not going to march you door to door and apologize to everybody on the way. <clears throat> if you owe somebody an apology, make the apology. Never do it again, and you're fine. That's it. But just understand... If you're asking for trust immediately, and understand why that might not be such a good idea. Understand why you might have to work for it a little bit. And there's stuff like that. I hope to see you on those uh, shorts. I hope to see you in this video. I hope to see you on the live stream tomorrow. Because you know I love hanging out with you guys. I really do. That's why I do this. It's why I try to carve out some time to do this for you, because uh, it's why I try to do some videos at night, too, when I get home from work. Because I miss you guys, and I love hanging out with you, and, you know, just want to pop in and see how you're doing. I hope it's okay. Anyway, take care. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you on the live stream. Come have tea with me. Come have tea with me, Jason, Tim, and Joe. Just a few guys talking. And if you're interested in coming on to the podcast, let me know. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Get in touch with me through Twitter DMs or uh, any of my other social media. Again, link tree down below. Get in touch with me. We'll see what we can work out. Okay? All right. Take care. Love you guys.